So my career um, is my hobby, really. I'm a, I'm a drummer. I'm a drum teacher, primarily. How I got into drums was that my dad actually was a really keen um, wannabe drummer. So when one Christmas he got a drum kit and that was, before that there was actually no like, no desire for even even musical, uh, mu musical stuff in my, in my family, no musical instruments or anything like that. Um, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, drums, that's shiny, it's noisy, I love it. Everyone shifted online. I was very fortunate that all my students stuck with me. They were all cool to, even if it's just like an iPad or a phone. I've got one student who's got a phone propped up on a broom handle. I didn't really have any drop off in terms of students, um, the amount of students. Um, so they all just moved online. I teach the same amount of students. I still teach the same people. They're at the same time slots. It's just so happens I just stare at a computer screen, um, which is good and bad. You know, you, um, it's great that they're continuing, but it is a bit draining not being able to interact with humans. Fortunate that a lot of my students are quite serious hobbyists um, or professionals themselves. So they've, they've been totally fine to stick with me, but I think for them, it's been great to have something normal. At least they've still got that hobby, which allows them to a little bit of an escape. So I think, I think they've really benefited from that. And no one's, like I said, no one's dropped off. No one's gone, well, I don't want to do it online or whatever. Um, and everyone's just been like, yeah, it's cool. Let's keep it going. I just think it's a creative outlet. And I think that we're all in, we are all inherently creative beings. So we like to be creative, whether that is, you know, just thrashing away with our favorite songs and just playing what's in our head or whether it's, you know, crafting an album or a song or drum videos for some people. Um, beyond that, uh, obviously drums are way cooler than every other instrument. That's what I used to do when I was learning. It's like, I imagine I, I was in Queen playing along with the back catalogue or Muse or something like that. Just imagining that you're in there, it's a great escape from everything that's going on. Weirdly, um, I don't particularly like loud noises. So as a drummer, I'm not particularly fond of very loud, like obnoxious noises. So when you're practicing something, um, you're not going to sound very good. So you want to actually be able to turn it down. So I, I practice and have done for years on an electric kit. So a, a Roland TD20. So one of their old flagships from many, many years ago. You know, not since I was learning, but you know, the last, you've really seen it explode in the last two to three years um, with this kind of silent symbols, which are, if anyone's watching this and doesn't know, basically imagine a, a, a full size symbol, but they just drill thousands of tiny little holes in it. And it just lowers the volume dramatically to like quieter than a Hoover, quieter than a hairdryer, um, which, if you're playing in a flat, it's great because obviously, you know, the thump of the bass drum or like real drums are just not a thing in a flat. I think people might be a little bit more receptive to going to gigs because they just want to be in a room with other human beings. Maybe that will have a resurgence in live music. So when you go and play a gig, it's not just one person that turns up. Hopefully there'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 people that actually turn up to watch your you know, originals band gigs. Teaching wise, I actually, I think a lot of people might stick online, if I'm honest. I have a fair few students who travel a little bit or used to travel quite a lot for me. And I think they're quite relieved at not having to travel an hour that here and an hour back. We have a lot more online students. And hopefully that means that teachers aren't restricted to their own little local area. You know, if you're good enough, you can reach anybody in the world and people are probably a bit more receptive to it now. Enjoying music, I think, you know, even, even for me, it's my job, but playing drums, making the videos, doing whatever has been a nice escape from this last year. Or so um, more of that. And then hopefully, you know, doing gigs and doing sessions and seeing other human beings.